I've wanted to tackle this topic for a while now, but it's uh, one of those deep dives that takes time to get right. Today we're diving into the problem with rain in the Seto Corsa. What's wrong with it? Uh, more importantly, how to fix it. If you're new to a Seto Corsa or modding, you may want to check out some beginner guides first. This one's for those already in neck deep. Now there's no shortage of tutorials on modding and adding rain to a Seto Corsa. So I'm not going to be covering that here. If you are here, then it's probably that you have already followed all those tutorials and found it really doesn't work like you may have expected. Now, there's a lot of excitement building for Assetto Corsa Evo, which features wet weather, and there were massive requests from the community for iRacing for wet weather, even though actually nobody likes to play on those servers for the risk of their iRating. Wet weather can certainly take racing to a whole new level, suddenly tracks become more dynamic, get slippery curbs, stand in water and puddles which force you to rethink your lines and your driving style. And amazingly, Assetto Corsa has all this built in, but anyone who's tried it recently might have come away a bit disappointed, and there's a reason for that. You've probably seen plenty of videos showing off rain and wet driving in Assetto, especially a few years back, but when it comes to racing content, there's surprisingly little, and when I went down this rabbit hole, I found out why. Indeed, as I plunged into the depths of YouTube, Discord and Reddit, I did look hard for something, and asked various race league admins if wet racing was a thing. The common response was, I tried it once, it was bad. So, first a little explainer of what's what. To get a set of courses to do these tricks, we rely on a few key mods the most important of which is Custom Shaders Patch, or CSP. This acts as a new interface, adding a bunch of features to the game, including rain, but only in the paid preview version, which you must get from Patreon. Then, the other major overhaul to Assetto comes from another mod, known as Pure. This is a graphics and visual overhaul, and comes with applications to both control not only the visual aspects of the game, but also set the time of day and the weather condition including rain. However, Pure by itself will not give or show rain. So it sounds simple, right? Download the mods, install them, and you're ready to race in the rain. But that's where the problems start. Or, well, typically, this is where the fun stops. You'll jump in a car, you'll set it to a wet track, and blast off straight into the Armco. You'll try several cars, tracks, tyres, and all you can think of, but you'll probably find whatever it is, generally, it will handle like a turd in the stream. You'll try online and find it something different, but again, awful, and like everyone else, you'll give up, take some nice pictures, and go back to racing in the dry. So what actually is going on? For this, we need to hop in our DeLorean and go back in time. Not far, but there have been some changes over time, and not all of them have worked. So Pure is a fairly new implementation of the weather controller. Previously, it was Sol. Sol had all this rain stuff in and it all worked pretty well, but there was a whole bunch of other issues with Sol, including pauses and stutters when weather would change online, uh, lack of transitions and uh, lots of other general problems really in just the way it worked. Therefore Pure was kind of born to correct many of those issues and problems. But Pure and Sol aren't actually responsible for giving us rain, that's CSP. And it's CSP that apparently sets those rain values, like how wet it's going to get. Now, here's the crux of the issue. Somewhere along the way, the rain values or settings were changed. I believe in Pure that the scale was adjusted to be able to give more effects. The situation is also given further complexity, as from an online point, the rain values are also capped. So actually, set values are not handed on in full. The end result, it seems, that CSP gives out rain values based on Sol. However, in the new Pure controller, these values are vastly wrong, which has meant rain has been completely overdone. The actual issue, then, isn't that the rain or the physics aren't working. It's all still in there. It's just the values are oversaturated. What, in effect, is happening, then, is when you set a wet weather race, your car and those of the opponents are driving in a flood. The vehicles are aquaplaning. It will make a big difference if you use, say, a truck which is heavy or a race car with aero and wet tyres, but either way, at any kind of speed and the tyres become quickly overwhelmed. 
but the terrible aquaplaning situation remains at anything really other than the lightest of wet weather settings and everything else is unmanageable. The situation isn't any better online with the server also handing out weather settings that are effectively designed for a different system and thus wrong. So really that's what's going on. Somewhere along the way these different systems the values have changed and such that it doesn't quite work anymore. But here's the good news. With just a small tweak we can fix all of this and we can make rain rate rain races work great in a Seto Corsa and in the next video I'm going to show you exactly how to do it.